It's been a little while since I've been back in the woods and as expected the fall storms came through uh, bringing with them uh, high winds and heavy rains. So as you can see around me pretty much all the leaves have fallen to the ground but that's okay that was to be expected. So I decided it would be a little bit of fun to go through a part of the woods that I don't normally photograph in. Um, I'll sometimes come through here in the winter on my snowshoes but it's not an area that I've explored extensively. Uh, but I thought it would be a lot of fun. Uh, it's a much younger woods here. The trees are smaller uh, and more dense as well. Uh, this used to have like huge trees. It was an area that was very heavily logged uh, like 60 to 100 years ago and all that wood was brought to help build the city of Montreal. Um, there's even stories of some, from some of the people around town saying that they can remember playing cards with other workers on like the stumps of the trees and something like six men could sit around an entire stump. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of exactly how big the trees used to be here. There is so much history in this part of the woods. For example, this pile of stones here is actually an old well. So if you lift all these stones, you can still see the shaft all the way down to the water, which is kind of cool. Um, and even over my shoulder to my left in the woods there is the foundation of the old train station and hotel that used to service the train line that runs through the woods. Uh, since then, the center of town has actually moved. But as you walk through the woods, it's not uncommon to find these weird like indentations or even kind of like stone formations in square shapes that make you realize that it's actually an old building or an, even an old house. Um, I find that so fascinating. But on that note, we're going to get out there and see what we can find. So I'm set up here in front of my first shot and uh, as you can see behind me a few pine trees fell quite a few years ago now uh, but that's actually really great for me because it really allows the light to come in through into this little pocket um, and brighten up my scene. Uh, today I'm dealing with uh, what looks like a mix of sun and clouds, uh, mostly overcast right now, but I'm actually really enjoying this soft light. I find it quite peaceful um, and it's just really lighting up my subject nicely because I've got these gorgeous trees. Um, it looks like a pine and a maple at one point decided to fuse together and grow up um, and they're just nicely lit up against the dark background. I'm actually packing light today. I've left the RB67 at home. Uh, it's a little bit too cumbersome to move through these woods uh, easily. So I've got my Yashica Mat 124G loaded up with a roll of Ektar 100. And in my bag, I also brought along an OM1 uh, with a roll of Provia. Uh, I don't actually do a lot of 35 millimeter anymore, so I'm pretty excited about it. And I've paired it up with a 35 millimeter lens. So I'm really hoping to find a bunch of different subjects in here today. But for now, we're gonna start off by taking this shot and seeing what else we can find in the woods today.